Yes, go ahead. Hello. I'm making a cameo on Odyssey USA. We are at Red River Gorge at the Theodore Roosevelt cabin. It's a little tiny house. Water pressure is not great, but it's cute. There's a hot tub. We are going trailing, then we are going kayaking, and then we're going hiking tomorrow, and I'm gonna take pictures along the way, so stay tuned. If you're looking for a trail with more rock and water than mud, Clifton Road is right up your alley. It up Hell no, we're not. Down tree. Ten years later. Mm -hmm. Got a chainsaw, which I do at home. Well, you know. I think it's already let loose. You had plenty of ass. Did what I thought it would do. All right, now make a caveman noise. <laughs> You're such a strange person. <laughs> it's always a good idea to carry a large handsaw with you, like that silky sugawaza. You don't know what you're gonna run into.
I have nothing to do with them other than me being a happy customer, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to consider using Gaia GPS and Trails Off-Roads mapping services. Gaia GPS will get you there and Trails Off-Road will tell you what is there. I've found Gaia to meet all my needs using their premium subscription to provide useful layers such as motor vehicle use maps for public land and access roads, to topographical and private property boundaries so you don't go on someone's property. Trails Off-Road will give you a great idea of what to expect when you are planning your trip and let you decide whether you and your vehicle are suited for the level of difficulty they rate the trail at. Using pictures of waypoints and any challenges that were there when they last mapped the trail, I find it assuring that I'm not wasting my time to go and find I've bitten off more than I can chew. Also, they do try to visit the trails every couple of years to keep the reviews up to date. This trail is suitable for stock high clearance 4x4s with just enough challenge to make it worthwhile for moderately modified rigs too. Also, there's little to no concern for getting paint scratches for all but the whitest trucks if that's a concern to you. Overall, Clifton Road was a great afternoon of fun, so if you're wanting to try some of the Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway, you can't go wrong with this trail. That's it for now. Likes and shares are appreciated, and I'll see you on the next one.